I'm pouring ionized water and I am actually going to do a test today to show you different containers that you can put what your water in that's ionized and and just compare how well they do now I think I've poured enough water here I've got this whole pitcher pretty well full but one second I just want to make sure that I've got enough water here Alright, by the way, the ionizer I'm using is an awesome one. It's the Smart Ionizer from Nexus. Alright, now, uh, let's just take a look at, I've got the probes in this picture already, and it's showing a negative 735-ish. ORP, which is fantastic. There's lots and lots of antioxidants that are in that water. And it looks like about a 9.5-ish pH. Yeah. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Might go up a tiny bit from there, but it's going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 9.5 pH. Okay, so now that's our starting levels. And by the way, that's really as perfect as you can get, I think. Um, I don't think you can get more perfect drinkable ionized water than that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour this in the different containers. First I'm just going to pour it in an open glass. Second I'm going to pour it in one of these vacuum stainless bottles. And what I'm going to do is fill this completely up and there's an internal rim that is is down inside uh, the rim is about at this level here and then this top piece pushes down in it and it spills a little bit so I'm doing that over the sink and then I'll set that there now this is a just a plastic bottle and I'm going to, a lot of people like plastic bottles and, uh, you know, they, they're not necessarily um, awful, I suppose, they, unless they have BPA in them. But one thing about plastic is it, it actually ha is porous. It's porous uh, right through the, the skin of the plastic. It interacts with, the water interacts with through the plastic with the air outside and you will see that that will not be as good storage of your ionized water. Alright the last thing is this is glass and this is the stainless and I'm just going to pour some in an open stainless bottle just to compare the glass versus stainless and I honestly I would have thought glass to be a better uh, storage material um, but just my experience shows that for some reason uh, this uh, this stainless is better. All right. So now what I'm going to do is right now the time is 2:41. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back in a few hours and test these waters and see how well they stored. Okay. Thanks.